Last night, my daughter brought a CD over to the house um, from Hamilton, which is uh, the big uh, musical on Broadway right now. And uh, she insisted that I watch it. And being a former history teacher, uh, I decided that I was going to listen very carefully to the words. And, and one of the things that came out was at the very end of the play where Hamilton says, who's going to tell what my legacy is? And from that, it was said that a legacy is when you plant seeds, but you really never get to see the plant completely grow. When I think of a legacy and when I think of planting seeds, I think of our immersion programs, um, the seeds that were planted by our governor, Jack Markell, when five years ago, he came up with the idea of creating a world language initiative that allowed schools throughout Delaware to not only bring world language to all of our schools, but to begin kindergarten programs in which, well, students in the Cesar Rodney School District had their world opened by being able to take Chinese and learn Chinese from Chinese teachers who lived and worked in China prior to coming to the United States. Those teachers had a tremendous impact and now our students, they're getting ready to go into fourth grade and their ability to speak Chinese is amazing. And we have students now that are also taking Spanish and I know that there are other Spanish programs around the state. The impact that Governor Markell's initiative, his vision had, and the way in which it's going to shape and impact these children's lives and the lives of Delawareans in the future. Ni hao, wala minsa shi abiyong. I attend Allen Career Elementary School. Our family started the adoption process about the same time that Abby began kindergarten in the Chinese Immersion Program. A part of the adoption process is being familiar with the culture of the country you are going to adopt from. Because of this immersion program, I would joke with our social worker that there were days I almost felt like I was in China because of the way this program made sure that the families were provided with books and experiences to be fully immersed in the culture. Our family has been very thankful for everything we have learned and been able to share with our adopted son. When we were traveling through China, we met a lot of Americans who were adopting a child. When we met each family, they would be shocked and amazed that our seven-year-old daughter spoke Mandarin. Usually they would say to us, oh, she attends private school. Then I would probably respond, no, my daughter attends an amazing public school that offers a Chinese immersion program. We received many comments from people who wished this program was offered in their school district, and now they want to move to Delaware. One of my proudest moments as a parent was watching my seven-year-old daughter walk up and down a bus stuck in traffic singing songs in Mandarin to comfort the newly adopted children that had no way to communicate with their parents. The first couple of weeks that we had Malachi, Abby spoke to him in Mandarin while we spoke in English. You could see the comfort in Malachi's eyes as Abby spoke his language to him. Two years later, Abby and Malachi still have a special bond that began from the first day Malachi entered our family. Last week, we celebrated Malachi's third birthday after we sang happy birthday to Malachi in English, then Abby sang happy birthday to Malachi in Mandarin. What a blessing for Malachi to be able to hear his birthday song sung to him in his native language. We are very proud of this program and the CR District. We are thankful to Governor Markell for casting the vision to bring immersion programs to Delaware. It has made an amazing difference in our family's life. Yes, yeah, yeah, Governor Markell is just truly amazing and I think that we owe a great deal to the governor for his foresight for his vision and I'm just glad that you know stories like Abby Lamont's story was one that the governor got to hear prior to leaving office that those seeds have already begun to, to grow and to blossom they're already having the far-reaching impact that he must have thought of when he came up with this initiative. And we only look for bigger and better things to occur as we move into fifth grade, into our middle schools, and then finally through our high schools. So I would encourage anyone that is interested 
in their children taking a world language to come to Delaware to be part of our public schools, to be part of our world language immersion initiative and to see all of the great opportunities that our children not only have today but will have in their future.